Brianna Kay is a Disney adult. We all know that. She often goes to Disney, but since partnering with Small World Vacations, she's been going a lot more frequently. Viewers have a lot of questions about her constant Instagram posts tagging Small World Vacations. So, she goes to Disney all the time, as do I, so no shade to her for that. But I'm just wondering, since she always tags Small World Vacations, does this mean they pay for her whole trip to Disney all the time? Let's read the FTC guidelines when it comes to influencers disclosing on social media. In my opinion, most of the influencers have never read the FTC guidelines. They're not aware of what the guidelines say, or they're aware and just choose not to follow the FTC guidelines. If you endorse a product through social media, your endorsement message should make it obvious when you have a relationship with the brand. A material connection to the brand includes a personal, family, or employment relationship or financial relationship, such as the brand paying you or giving you free or discounted products or services. Telling your followers about these kinds of relationships is important because it helps keep your recommendations honest and truthful, and it allows people to weigh the value of your endorsements. As an influencer, it's your responsibility to make these disclosures, to be familiar with the endorsement guides, and to comply with the laws against deceptive ads. Don't rely on others to do it for you. When to disclose. Disclose when you have any financial employment, personal or family relationship with a brand. Financial relationships aren't limited to money. Disclose relationships if you get anything of value to mention a product. If a brand gives you a free or discounted product or other perks and you mention one of its products, make a disclosure, even if you weren't asked to mention that product. Don't assume your followers already know about your brand relationships. Make disclosures even if you think your evaluations are unbiased. Keep in mind, tags, likes, pins, and similar ways of showing you like a brand or product are endorsements. Make sure people will see and understand the disclosure. Place it so it's hard to miss. The disclosure should be placed with the endorsement message itself. Disclosures are likely to be missed if they appear only on the About Me or Profile page at the end of posts or videos or anywhere that requires a person to click more. Don't mix your disclosures in a group of hashtags or links. If your endorsement is in a picture on a platform like Snapchat or Instagram Stories, superimpose the disclosure over the picture and make sure viewers have enough time to notice and read it. Use simple and clear language. Simple explanations like thanks to blank for the free product are often enough if placed in a way that's hard to miss. So are terms like advertisement, ad, and sponsored. Don't use vague or confusing terms like SP, SPON, or COLLAB, or standalone terms like thanks or ambassador, and stay away from other abbreviations when possible. I didn't read the entire guide. I will link that in the description box, but I read some important things we need to know in order to understand what Brie is currently doing on Instagram. When reading those guidelines, a few things stood out to me that applies to Brie's situation. Place so it's hard to miss. Disclose when you have a relationship with a brand. Don't assume your followers know about your brand relationship. And keep in mind, tags, likes, and pins are similar ways of showing you like a brand or product endorsements. Now I want to show you some of Bree's current Instagram stories. We'll go story by story and pick it apart. And I'll give you my opinion on what she's doing. Let's start with the top. She tagged Small World Vacations. That's it. She didn't disclose, she didn't provide any more information. Is Small World Vacations her mom, her best friend, her neighbor? We don't know. I blurred the image of her child. She writes at the bottom, the yacht and beach club are my favorite resort after this trip. The pool, the atmosphere, the convenience to Epcot. As a viewer, this tells me nothing. I don't know why she's tagging this company. Did they give her a discount to stay at this resort? Are they paying her to say that these are her favorite resorts? I have no clue. So in my opinion, she's not following the FTC guidelines for influencers when it comes to disclosing on social media. On the next story, she also tags Small World Vacations. It's difficult to see 
She hides the information behind her user profile name. I'm blurring the images of her children. There's no information behind the blurred spot. Just want you to know that. She writes at the bottom, merriest place on earth. So she tagged Small World Vacations again, but she placed their name behind her handle name. So it's difficult to see. It's kind of strange to do it this way. Again, as a viewer, I have no idea why she's tagging this brand. Did they pay her to say this? She's not disclosing any type of relationship with this company. So in my opinion, she's not following the FTC guidelines on this slide when it comes to influencers disclosing on social media. Let's look at the next screenshot. Okay, again, she tags Small World Vacations. There's a picture of everyone on a ride, and then she tags a roller coaster. But again, why is she tagging this company? There is no disclosure. So in my opinion, she's not following the FTC disclosure guidelines for influencers on social media. Again, she tags Small World Vacation, but she places the tag behind her handle. She uses white letters. It's difficult to see. And as a viewer, this tells me absolutely nothing. At the bottom, she writes, Hollywood Studios Day. Love our shirts from, then she tags an Instagram account. Love our ears from, and she tags an Instagram account. This is all difficult to read, and I had to zoom in to read this information, and you can't zoom in on the Instagram stories. You have to screenshot it, save it to your phone, and then zoom in. And that's a lot for followers to do. The FTC guidelines say you should use clear and simple language, and you should place the endorsement so it's hard to miss. But Bree did not give a disclosure on this story. Did this company make the shirt for you and give it to you for free? Were you paid to say this? Same thing with the ears. Did they give you the ears for free? Did they pay you to tag them and talk about the ears? There's no disclosure. So in my opinion, Brie is not following the FTC guidelines when it comes to influencers disclosing on social media. Brie also tags her hairstylist after she gets her hair done. There's a before and after picture. She wrote at the bottom, you are seriously the queen of blonding. Okay, well, she's tagging this company, this stylist, but she's not disclosing anything. She's promoting a business, but there's no disclosure. What type of relationship do you have with this business? Are you being paid to say this? Did the stylist give you a discount on products or services? We have no idea because she's not disclosing. So in my opinion, again, she's not following the FTC guidelines when it comes to disclosing on social media. When it comes to influencer marketing, the FTC rules state that influencers must reveal their relationships with brands within their post. Followers need to understand whether what they're seeing is an ad or an organic post by the influencer. Violating these rules can lead to penalties, fines, and legal fees. As an influencer, you must disclose any material connection you have to any brand you are endorsing. You may have a material connection to a brand if the brand has done any of the following in exchange for your endorsement, given you money, given you a free or discounted product or services. Let's talk about the difference between an organic Instagram post where you tag a company versus a paid Instagram post where you tag a company. From a viewer's perspective, when an influencer tags a company and there's no relationship between the influencer and the company, but the influencer gives them a shout out and raves about their products or services, that hits hard, right? They're going out of their way to shout out this company and they're not being paid to do it. Versus an influencer shouting out a brand or a product because they're being paid. Those are two very different things. They look different, they feel different, and it's essential for your viewers to know when you're promoting a company because you genuinely love it and you're not being paid versus when you love a company, but you're also being paid to promote it. Not only is it essential for your viewers to know this information, but the FTC guideline says you must disclose your relationship with brands. In the past, Brie mentioned Small World Vacations gifted a private tour at Disney for her and her friends. I think that was on the last Disney trip they took. She's also given them multiple shout outs. She's encouraged her followers to contact them if they're planning a Disney trip. So in my opinion, Brianna Kay is working with Small World Vacations. When I say working with, I mean, I believe Brie and Small World Vacations have a professional relationship where Brie promotes this company in exchange for 
free hotel stays or discounted rates, free Disney passes, free food, and more. Small World Vacations could be paying her to endorse them. This is my opinion based on everything that I've seen and all of the information Brie has put out on social media about Small World Vacations. Since collabing with them months ago, I think she was in Hawaii when she first started mentioning their name. I'm not an attorney. This is not legal advice. This video is full of my thoughts and opinions. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you in the next video.